Welcome back. This is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nuts video series on C++. Welcome to the quiz on C in and C out operator in C++. So this is a quiz time because that topic is little interesting and lots of questions comes in exam. Okay. Sometimes it gets tricky. So I have these many points here for you. So let's discuss one by one. Okay. First look at this point. What do you think? What should be the output for this one? Let's compile this. So this is 1 plus 2 and this is 3. So it shows that if you are enclosing anything in between these two cords here, it will become string. Okay. So this is a string, but this is not the string. This 1 plus 2 is a expression here. Okay. So that expression will get evaluated and the result will be at this output stream. Okay. That's why you are getting this 1 plus 2 and 3. So this is the difference. Okay. Now let's look at another one. So this is another one. Here we are having one string here and the same string we are printing with this single cord here. See. So what should be the output for this one? So people get confused much like if I will put this single cord here, what would be the output? So let's clear that doubt as well. We'll run this and see. This is your output. So this first line is CPP nuts. That's correct because we know how to print this CPP nuts if it is string. But second is some garbage value here 1, 3, 1, 6, 2, 0, 3, 0, and all. Okay. It means you cannot print multiple characters using this single cot here. If I will print a single character, in that case, it is okay. Let's check that. See, it is printing CPP nuts and C. No problem. If you will print some another character, it will print that. No problem. Let's check that here. See, this CPP nuts and M is coming. So, what we understood from this single cot is for single characters. This double cot is for multiple characters. Okay. So, now let's look at another one. Here we are printing bingo and we are using this multiple semicolon so whether it is going to compile or this is an error actually there is no problem in this because after this first semicolon everything is a empty statement so empty statement doesn't create any problem so let's check that see bingo there is no problem okay so if you will write like four five like this and if you will compile there is no issue in this okay because this is a constant expression here and this is terminating with this semicolon. Okay. So there is no issue in this. If you will simply write it without terminating it, then it will create problem. Let's check that. See, it is telling expected semicolon before return. So it is messing with this whole thing. Now let's look at another one. So this is a string data type here. We are taking this string and we are going to print that. So it's very simple. You might be thinking, but we will take another example here, which will so you something new here. So let's compile this and here we'll give some input like life is beautiful. Hit enter. Can you see something here? We was taking this life is beautiful in this string by using this C in, but it only took the life here. So the rule is if you are taking string in your string variable with this C in, it only take till the first white space or first enter or first tab and all that. Okay. So in short, it should not be an empty place. Okay. So if it is empty space, once you will write everything and hit enter, it will take only up to that empty space and push into this str variable here. Okay. That's what you saw here. So how to deal with this problem? Actually, you don't know what is functions and all. So it will be a little bit hard for you to understand this, but still I will show you that what is the way of doing this. So there is some function called get line and the format of that is this one. First parameter of this would be this basic stream of characters and another one would be your string data type. So here it should be an C in and this one is your variable. That's it. So now if you will run this code, it will show you that it is taking the full line like life is beautiful. Hit enter. See it is taking life is beautiful and giving you into this str. So ultimately what is happening here, you are invoking a function and passing these two as parameter 
and that function's job is whatever is coming in this C in option, it will take the whole line, this whole line and push that line into this str. Okay. So that's the specific job of this function. Okay. So now let's look at the next one. So this is another example of taking this integer variable and pushing three numbers in that. So that number could be anything, whatever is in between the range of this integer data type. Okay. So here you might be saying something new like you are taking three numbers in one row. Okay. So yes, it is possible how this C out can take number of inputs. C in also can take number of inputs. Okay. So let's run this. So it is asking me to enter some numbers like one, I will give one, two, and then hit enter and five, six and enter and then eight and nine and then enter. So see. It is taking three numbers and after that it is printing that. So 12 is printed, 56 is printed and 89 is also printed here. Okay. But there is no space in between these two. That's why it is concatenated with each other. So if we'll give the spaces here like this one, one space and here another space. So let's compile this again. So this time we will give two, three, four and yeah, you can give space also. So there won't be. And if you are giving spaces 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 90 and space 90. Hit enter, it will take that value and give as it is. Okay. So multiple inputs are also possible in C in and C out both. So I think I'm done here. If you think you have some doubt, you can comment out in comment section. Otherwise, let's look at the next video.